Wag back to Deputy Bricks for another episode of Building Mandalore and Lego. And last week I made a start on the landing pad here. However, the starship was very squished on here. You had to have it at a, a, one angle only for it to fit on there. And I could go an extra four studs on both sides and it would give it just a little bit more space and I can change the angle of that. Now originally I was going to have a walkway around the bottom here. However, there is no real necessity to have that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to re rebuild this top section here, bring it out to the very edge of the build and just give it that little bit more space for the craft. Now this has been built using a snot technique. So what I need to do is extend this base part here by the four studs and do an extra row of four by one gray bricks either side. And that's it, job done. So it's a really simple fix. And I do think it's one that's going to be worthwhile doing. So let's make those changes and I'll check back in once I've done so. And that's the landing pad all extended now. So it's actually overhanging the actual building south by one stud on each side. Now, one thing I am considering doing is actually having it. So there's two bits that actually come out of the front here as well, which overhang even more. Very similar to what I've done down on that section just there. And I thought it could be quite good that I could have a little mini speeder possibly parked on there as well. So it's not just the, the massive Cormac Class 3 that lands on the platform here. So I'm just going to change the plates over on the end here, get rid of the wedge plates and put a square plate on there. And I'm just going to build them out and see how it looks. Due to, again, due to the way that I built this, it's not a problem if I change my mind and decide I want to go back to how it is before. So let's make those changes and see what it looks like. And here is the landing pad all amended and a lot happier with this. I think it looks a lot better having it this way round. So I'm now going to put the Mandalorian Starfire on the top of it and just see how much difference it makes having that extra few stars either side. And here we have the Cormac on the landing pad. And again, I think it just looks so much better. Just being able to rotate around by a few degrees, I think does add so much more to it. And having these sections overhang in the building as well. Again, I think it just looks a little bit better. Added some grill pieces just on the front there as well, which I think just add a little bit more texture to there. I've even put some of the trans blue tiles in as well, just to break the colour up that a little bit. Now that I've finished this section off for now, I'm just going to put the plates along the edge on the snot bricks just there. Next up, I want to concentrate on this section just below the building that's resting there. At the moment, it's just all the black studs exposed and I want to either plate it, tile it or do some snot work with bricks just so I can get some more patterns on the floor there. So let's remove the building, move the bridge and let's get started on that section down the bottom. And that's the majority of the bottom section all covered over. I've left some snot bricks there as I want to do another raised area, potentially with a tree on there. So I can just put a brick built uh, stand on that section there. And again, on here, I'm contemplating putting a statue of some description. In this part here, I need to tile that down. So I just need to find out some dark bluish gray tiles. And up here, I'm just going to carry on doing a snot technique, I think, on the very top of it with some tiles as well, like I've done on this section just here. Now, it is looking very plain, very bland at the moment. And I will be adding a lot of mini builds to this further down the line. But I just want to get it all covered over to start with. With a lot of the build, like with the landing platform up there, there's a lot of small builds I want to do to that. And I'll do them all at the same time. 
But yeah, really happy with how this is coming on. It's so nice seeing a lot of the black disappear below the greys and tans. So let's carry on building this section up just here and I'll check back in once I've covered it over. And here is the lower section and it's almost covered over. Just a couple of little bits of black there still exposed. And the reason being is I'm getting so low on my dark bluish and light bluish grey bricks and tiles. And I just need to find some more out just to cover those two sections up just there. Now I have left some studs exposed just here, here, just behind that section just there and here. And I'm wanting to build some sort of tower on that section or some statues just to give it a little bit more character. So once I've decided what I'm going to put on there, I'll get those built and put on there. But really happy with how this is coming on. It's so nice not seeing all of the black on there. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I do still need to do a raised section just here, which I want to put a tree on. And I haven't put any trees on it yet, as I haven't ordered the green bits for it. But I just feel like it's going to add a little bit of a pop of colour, which I think is going to be nice. I did add the sand green on there, again, just to break it up a little bit. And I do think that adds a lot more to it. It just gives it a little bit more variety. But really happy with how this is all coming on, especially the landing pad at the top there. I think that looks so much better having it as it is at the moment compared to what it was before. Now I have all placed an order this week with lego.com for some pieces for the prison cell here. So I'm hoping I'm going to be able to work on this section next week. As this is really holding up a lot of the build now. Once I've got the prison cells built in here, I can carry on building across there, build the top section. And this is the part where I'm going to have the Ahsoka versus Darth Maul jewel in there where they're on the beams. And then up the top, once I've finished building that all up, I can level this off and then that's where the palace is going to be once i've got the palace all built in there then i can attach the bridge between the two sections there so there's a lot being held up by the prison cell area not being built yet but i have been prototyping some designs what i want to do for that and i think i've come up with some ideas for it one of the biggest problems i was having were the railings that go in front of the prison cells um i, I want to make it look as accurate as possible and i think i'm going to have to lose a couple of angles just to, so I can make it look that a little bit better. But I'll show you what I mean with that once the order comes in. Now, as I said, part of the Lego order has been dispatched already by lego.com. And normally when it's been dispatched, it's with me within a week. So hopefully I'll have it by next Saturday and I can concentrate on getting those prison cells all done. But yeah, there it is. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the update. If you have, please remember to give us a big thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to the channel and help us get to that 4,000 subscription. And if you know anybody else you think would be interested in building Gotham, building Mandalore or building a Lego room, if you could share the channel with them, it would be much appreciated. Anyway, thanks for popping on by and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.